Hey guys, what's up? Uh, today I got something for you about the new aluminum unibody MacBooks compared to the updated white uh, MacBook, the entry level MacBook. So as you may or may not know, um, Apple did do a quiet update of the white polycarbonate shell uh, MacBook. They updated, well let's see here, uh, Gizmodo did these tests here and you can see here um, all of the upgrades that Apple's last gen 999 MacBooks received last week seems unimpressive. They benchmarked these um, against the $1,300 aluminum unibody MacBook. Uh, and the last gen model, now the white one, proved to be 5% faster than the unibody one in the test that they did. So, Gizmodo covered this PC World, I guess, did the actual tests. So, as you can see here, uh, they bumped the speed on the processor from 2 gigahertz to 2.13 gigahertz, so that's actually faster than the unibody one. Um, they increased the hard drive capacity from 120 to 160 gigabytes, so that's the same as the unibody one now. Um, and they also increased the RAM speed from 60, uh, 667 megahertz to 800 megahertz now, still DDR2. The unibody has DDR3 memory. Um, so it is faster there, but um, as far as the faster processor and stuff goes, that's a pretty good upgrade there, and it has the same capacity hard drive spinning at the same RPM. Uh, so they used uh, the help of Speedmark 5, uh, Macworld's overall system performance benchmark, so they used this benchmark at Macworld, and in the test they found that the 2.13 gigahertz white MacBook was approximately 6.5% faster than the old white MacBook. So that's older than the one that before they updated it. Um, it has an 8% boost in Photoshop times and iTunes MP3 encoding. Uh, Cinema 4D was about 5% faster on the new one. So that's compared to the new one compared to the old white one before they upgraded it. Now comparing it to the 2 gigahertz aluminum one, uh, there's a big difference in the outward appearance. Uh, I, obviously it's made out of aluminum and the other one's made of white. Uh, on the new one you've got the one big trackpad with the whole button. Uh, on the old one it's got the actual physical button on there. So it's, and it's got the LED backlit screen. Same screen sizes, but the one on the aluminum one looks better because it's LED backlit. And it's probably a little better on um, batteries. But anyways, uh, the biggest, so yeah, that's difference in appearance. Um, they, the processors both have 3 megabytes of shared L2 cache, 160 gigabyte hard drives, 2 gigabytes of RAM, although the aluminum one is faster RAM. And they both have the same graphics cards in them. Um, So yeah, you're paying a lot for the actual physical design of the new one. So they updated the aluminum MacBook to 10.5.7, so Snow Leopard, I guess, and ran various system updates released since the last time. Uh, so they read Speedmark 5. Uh, the MacBook, the new white MacBook, was just about 5% faster than the 2 gigahertz aluminum. Um, so when they tested it with 3D scene in Cinema 4D or encoding an MPEG movie, uh, the white MacBook was faster because that is processor intensive and since it does have a faster processor, it beat the aluminum unibody one. Uh, the one test which the aluminum MacBook outperformed the entry level model was Quake 4 test um, because they both use 256 megabytes of main system RAM for your video card memory. And since the aluminum ones is faster, the memory in it is faster, uh, it did perform better while gaming. The performance boost gained from jumping from the MacBook to the MacBook Pro is still considerable, with the entry level 2.4 GHz MacBook Pro turning in a Speedmark 5 score more than 10.5% faster than the 2.13 GHz. So comparing it to the the MacBook Pro entry level one, uh, that still blew the uh, white MacBook away. So, 
if you're like me and maybe just bought aluminum unibody one, uh, you may be thinking, you know, I don't know, maybe it would be a good idea to buy that. Um, if you're doing a lot of video encoding and stuff like that, uh, the processor will be faster, so you'll have faster times there. If you're doing more RAM intensive things, uh, the aluminum one is better. If they changed the uh, RAM on the white one to DDR3 RAM, which probably isn't too far away, uh, because things mostly are, you know, upgrading to that nowadays, uh, it would be better than the aluminum one. Although, I'm sure the aluminum one, they'll have to do something to keep the price up, because I'm sure if that one's better, people aren't going to really want to upgrade to that aluminum one, because uh, there really wouldn't be any reason to. You'd be getting better performance just not getting the aluminum design but other than that I just want to do a share this with you guys so uh, you know what's going on here uh, other than that that's all I really got so I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching